Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is just a quick video demonstrating how to quickly add endpoints to the CUCM. Now this is my home lab at the moment. Uh, I've got six endpoints going into a Catalyst 3560 PoE switch, which is then going into an 892 VPN router. The router is pointing to Cisco's dCloud platform, which hosts a CUCM, and this is what my endpoints will be registering to. So now I'll go to dCloud and log into the CUCM. Okay, next we want to go to Device, then Phone. Then we'll click Find to see a full list of the devices. Now as you can see, I've already got four devices registered, uh, two 7965 phones and two 9971s. So we're going to add another 9971. So let's go up to Add New and we'll select 9971 from the drop-down list. Click Next. Okay, we'll enter the MAC address here. Then it's gonna automatically create a description based on what you entered. Now I'm gonna change it to bottom so that I know which phone I'm referring to. Okay, then you'll want to add a device pool. Now RTP phone video was a device pool that was already configured when I logged in. Now it'll work for what we're doing here, but in a real environment, of course, you'd want to configure your own device pool based on your specific environment. And if you'd like to know more about that, then uh, I'll be making a video about that in the near future, so keep an eye out for that. Next, we'll want to select a phone button template. The only one available in this case is the standard 9971 SIP. Next, let's scroll down to Owner. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to just click Anonymous, but in a real environment, you'd want to create a user and add them here. Uh, again, I'll probably make a video about that in the future, so keep an eye out for that. Okay, let's scroll down to protocol specific information and let's look at device security profile. Now for the 9971, you can of course just select the Cisco 9971 standard SIP non-secure profile, then drop down to SIP profile and select standard SIP profile. Okay, go up and click save and then OK. Now we want to give our endpoint a directory number, so click line one, add new DN. Then for directory number, I'll say uh, 1001, and then we'll save that. Then to go back, I'm going to come up here to related links and just press go. Then we want to apply configuration, then OK. Now if we go back to device and then phone, we can see the endpoint that we just added. But as you can see, it still says unregistered. But if you go back over to the phone and just give it a little bit of time, uh, you'll see that it will eventually register, assuming that you put everything in correctly. And there it is. And then if I refresh the screen, we can see in the CCM that it is in fact registered. And then just to show you, if I come over to the phone and call the endpoint, you can see that it does actually work. Good. Okay, again, in a real environment, we'd want to take the time to configure a few things a bit differently. So I'll be exploring some of those options in future videos. For now, I hope that was helpful. Uh, thanks for watching.